car hit over there, and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar in the Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Notify next of kin. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Careful where you step in, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. body traveled a good 20 feet.
The driver managed to break before the impact. It's all yours, detective. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman, that's all. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper, I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna out. Mrs. Patterson home. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. That's what you all say. You don't see shit. I doubt you. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Esther and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. What were you doing? Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Until you killed him. Not one of your favorite customers? 
Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No, he came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? What was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks. Looks like we caught a break on this one. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? I don't know. Um... The Red League Continental is a good place to start. Maybe not. Uh... Go to the coroner's office. Location. This is the place. Oh, we're already here. Well, let's go somewhere else. You know the way. You can drive. Uh, where are we going? The Patterson Yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? Yes. We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Your husband is a good, dirty gambling We wanted to give you the facts about the accident, ma'am. I appreciate that, but I think I know most of them already, Detective. He was hit by a car, now he's dead. What more is there to tell? Pardon me, but you don't appear to be too upset about it. Right. 
Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick together this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, and I... Beg your pardon? You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Uh, you're guilty, bitch. Bitch, you're guilty. She's guilty. I don't even need to review the evidence. I, I don't even need... Okay. What was the nature? You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Men are need more than that. Like I said, Lester was a great guy when he was winning. A really sunny, bright guy. Trouble was, he hardly ever won. And when he lost, he was an evil son of a bitch. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. You expect me to believe that, Lorna. It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. We're leaving, Lorna. But this doesn't add up. We'll be keeping an eye on you. Come on, Phelps. Let's make ourselves scarce. I didn't love him. I admit it. But that's not a crime. I'm out of here, Lorna. I got a business to run. You think Mal is done with the autopsy? Better call it in and check, Phelps. Between the driver and the widow, I say we start dealing with the facts. right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Hey! 
That coward thinks he can run from everything. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I wonder if he killed someone driving like this. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Don't let that asshole get away. So much for our hit and run case. Howard thinks he can run from everything. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. I wonder he killed someone, driving like this. Don't let that asshole get away! Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on! I 
wonder he killed someone driving like this. Don't let that asshole get away. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton. Yeah. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my Nobody fault. What do you over. mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. Right There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? Yeah. I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right. Where to? Are you drunk, mister? Or are you just crap? She wants a five-star goddamn way. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, 
detective. Messages, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks, ma'am. That's the guy from the papers. Solved that big case. Wow, that looks like a few. Ball of oil comes from olives. Where does baby oil? You can drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Bukowski, get over here! Okay, partner. That's the cop I survived the war for this. Ah. Get in a fight with ugly people. They have nothing to lose. I gotta have it. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. So the hit and run was a cover-up. I'd say he was stabbed twice at very close quarters. Both wounds thrusting upwards and then pushed in front of the car. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Clever, really. I almost missed it. But the trajectory of the wounds was all wrong if he was impaled by the hood ornament. Find the knife, detectives. Yes, sir. Oh, 
It all comes back to the crime scene. We need to hit Ray's one more time in trial for evidence. Buddy, you dropped something? It was me. So there was some truth to Sheldon's cock and bull story after all. He didn't stop. But he didn't kill Patterson either. I'm no betting man, but I know where I'd put all my chips. The grieving widow and her shoulder to cry on. Now all we need is a murder. Can you drive to this one? So where do you want to go? Lester could be a heel, We just wanted but to check the crime scene over one that's more That's a lousy time. way for anyone to go out. If that's all right. Can you be quick about it? Cops are bad for business. Really? We'll tiptoe, Sabo. You won't even notice us. All right. Step by step, check every inch of ground. So this is why everybody comes to raise. This as the murder weapon. Let's talk to Leroy. See him explain his way out of this. 